Hey everyone, welcome to Eking Out with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today I am bringing you my latest Disney merch haul. These are items that I picked up during my most recent trip to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And I also have this really cool item that I picked up from Pink Island Mode. So keep watching. Alrighty guys, so I am going to start with the item from Pink Island Mode because it's just one item. Now this is a pin that I pre-ordered and I think it is beautiful. It cost me $24.90 plus shipping and tax. And it is from my main Disney pin collection. This is a Beauty and the Beast pin. Oh my gosh, I'm going to take it out of the packaging. This item was a pre-order and I absolutely love it. And it is also a limited edition pin and it is so beautiful. It is a decent size and I cannot wait to show you close-ups. $24.90 for this pin. I think it's fairly priced. It is pretty big. It is limited edition of $300. And of course, it is licensed by Disney. And I am just so happy that I was able to get to this pre-order on time. Okay, you gotta see a close-up of this beauty. How gorgeous is this pin? Oh my gosh. And I love that it has this like glittery background and Belle just looks stunning. I love that she's holding books and she has the bookcase behind her. Now, Belle is my favorite Disney princess. And I feel like one of the reasons she is my favorite is because Belle is kind of dorky and nerdy and geeky. And I feel like I identify myself with that. Now, I am not a huge reader, but for 2022, I felt like I read a lot of books. I read more than I've read before in previous years. And I just can truly identify myself with her with this desire to like learn things and I believe that knowledge is power and I feel like that would probably be Belle's motto as well. I absolutely love this pin. It is stunning. I mean it is a decent size like I mentioned earlier. They did an amazing job with the design and the colors. Again, LE 300, just $24.90. And here we have the back of the pin. Again, limited edition of 300. Absolutely stunning pin. It's one of my favorite Beauty and the Beast pins ever. I feel like you don't get many pin designs with Belle in a bookcase. So I love this so, so, so much. Uh, Pink on the mode, you guys did an amazing job with this. And now let me start showing you the items that I picked up at Disney World. All right, so I'm going to start with this because you already kind of saw this earlier. And this is the Mr. Toad popcorn bucket. I almost dropped it. <laughs> it is so cool looking. It was only $30. And what we do when we get these popcorn buckets at Disney World, since they are collectible pieces, we tend to ask for the popcorn to be given to us on the side so it doesn't kind of dirty up the popcorn bucket or make it greasy or anything. So you can definitely do that when you get your popcorn buckets at Disney. Just ask for the popcorn on the side. So again, super cool, $30 for this. Now the opening for the popcorn is like right at the back right here. <laughs> um, it's kind of like, a, I guess, odd design to eat. Like, all right, let me just, I don't know. But um, I am so happy we asked for the popcorn on the side because, again, I didn't want this bucket to be, you know, just uh, greasy or dirty or anything like that. I really like this. Even the little lanyard, um, the strap, has Mr. Toad all over. And it also has the logo for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Super, super cute. This was released earlier in 2022, but as of December, which is when we went to Disney World, these were available at Disney Springs, which is where we picked up this popcorn bucket.
All right, so let's get into some of the items that we have in the bag. Now this I already used during my most recent trip to Walt Disney World. I'm gonna let you guys know a little secret. <laughs> we went on the Galactic Starship Cruiser, which is a new Star Wars hotel. And I have a video coming up on that soon. Now I purchased this little headpiece uh, to wear on that too when we went on the Star Wars hotel like cruise ship. The retail price for this was $24.95. It actually has a specific name. I'm looking for my little receipt here. Um, it just is really head cover, I guess. Head cover mix. <laughs> $24.99 for this. Um, I feel like it's a little overpriced for what it is. Um, it's just really like a handkerchief. It's almost really like a bag. Like I'm gonna uh, show you close-ups of this in just a second, but like, wearing this which is so odd so you put it on kind of like a little like a bag right and i put my little um crest or logo part to the front so i guess kind of like this so this is what i wore on my day in batu from the galactic cruiser again 24.99 for this head to fix my hair <laughs> A little bit after taking off the little head scarf right and what else do we have here okay so we did the cookie stroll over at Epcot so we have our little passport from that from the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays and this is the festival passport so basically every time we got a cookie we would get a stamp on our little passport. Let me see if I can show you where the stamps were. Okay, you know what? I think I have the wrong passport. <laughs> we had two passports. We had this one, which apparently is a blank. Um, and then we have the other one where we actually got our stamps. I need to locate that. <laughs> but anyway, at the end of our little cookie stroll journey, uh, we got a free cookie, which um, it, it suffered a little bit, you know, on its journey from Florida to New Jersey. But this is the little free cookie they give you. It kind of looks like a little ornament and it says uh, Festival of the Holidays. And of course, once you complete that too, you do get this free pin. Um, so I'm going to show you this um, in just a second. It is a free Guardians of the Galaxy pin, holiday special pin from Disney Plus. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, side note, I wish that the free pin that you got after completing your cookie stroll in Epcot was uh, something that was actually designed for the uh, cookie stroll thing, right? Um, something that you're like, oh yeah, this means that I got all the cookies and I got my free pin because of that. This is just a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special pin. I mean, it's still cool to get a free pin, um, but again, I wish it was more related to this than just like a random free pin. Nonetheless, let me show you close. And here is the pin. Now I haven't seen the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. I do need to check that out. Have you guys seen it? Is it any good? And here we have the back of the pin, which has the Marvel logo. All right, I found the other passport. So this is the one that has all the stamps, which shows that we completed our little cookie stroll in Epcot for the Festival of the Holidays. And I have two more items to show you. The next item I have is this really cool Scrooge McDuck pin. It is limited release, retail price $17.99. Now, I am not personally a Scrooge McDuck pin collector, but my husband is. Pretty cool looking pin. It's a pin on pin design. Here we have the back of the pin, again, limited release. And on the back, it says celebrating 75 years of Scrooge McDuck. Super cool. And last but not least, here we have the Walt Disney Day pin. And the retail price for this pin was $17.99. It is another limited release pin, but it is so cute. Here we have a closer look. 
and the pin has a spinning element which is at the bottom and here we have the back which has a lovely quote from Walt Disney. I know the letters are tiny on the back of the pin so I wanted to actually read this. It says Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world and that is something that Walt Disney said. It does have the 2022 uh, marked right at the top of the pin. Super cute pin. I definitely needed to get this. It just feels like a piece of Disney history, right? And that's it, you guys. This is my most recent Disney merch haul. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite. As usual, if you love the things that I talk about, definitely subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification bell so that you can keep winking out with me. Bye!